Hello, this is Mr. Greisman. In this vodcast, I will demonstrate how to correctly light a Bunsen burner. Two things you need, a Bunsen bur burner and a sparking tool. The Bunsen burner is made up of two parts, the hose and the actual Bunsen burner. You'll notice on the bottom of the Bunsen burner that there is an air inlet that you can control. You need to make sure that when you're about to light a Bunsen burner, your air inlet is closed. And if you're not sure which direction this piece of metal has to go to close the air inlet, just lift up your Bunsen bur burner and figure it out. The first thing you need to do is you need to plug your Bunsen burner into the gas outlet. Take your Bunsen burner hose and push it with a little bit of force into the valve opening. Before you light a Bunsen burner, it's important that you understand how the gas outlet works. The valve switch, it can either be perpendicular to the direction of flow in which it is off or parallel to the direction of flow in which it is on. It doesn't matter which direction, either that way or that way, your switch is pointing, but that is how you shut off your gas outlet. So this way is open, this way is closed. Lighting the Bunsen burner is quite simple. First you need to make sure your Bunsen burner is on a level surface. Then you need to make sure that the air inlet is closed all the way. Turn on your gas. Bring your sparker close to the Bunsen burner and your Bunsen burner is now lit. To get a hotter flame, just open the air inlet and you'll get that nice blue flame. To turn a Bunsen burner off, simply close the valve. Lighting a Bunsen burner just to review, make sure it's on a level surface. Plug in the hose to the valve, close the air inlet, open the valve, spark the sparking tool, light your Bunsen burner, open your air valve. Now that you've seen how to properly light a Bunsen burner, it's important to exercise extreme caution when using a Bunsen burner, meaning you need to make sure that you're wearing your goggles, and that if you have any loose hair, or any long hair, you need to make sure that it's tied back to avoid it going up in flames. That would really ruin your day. Thanks for watching.